Today's video will discuss chapter 7-4, polynomials. So we're going to start with finding the degree of a polynomial. And the idea here is that we're going to use the exponents to help us. And so the exponents will tell us what degree each of these terms of the polynomial is. And so keep in mind that polynomial meaning poly, poly meaning many, this, this, each of these is going to have multiple terms, right? So this one, for example, has one term, two terms. This has one, two, three terms. So this polynomial, we're looking just at this part. Sorry, that's not what I was trying to draw. We're looking just at this part. That looks better. And so on 3x squared, y to the third, I'm looking at these exponents, and those have an exponent. These each, I'm only looking at the variables. Now, keep in mind, I'm not talking about the constant, right? So that's the 3. So I'm looking at the x squared and the y to the third, and these have a total power of 5. This as, I mean, you also, if you think about it, has an x to the 0 and a y to the 0, right? Because each of those is 1. So you don't have to write that, but just keep in your, in your mind that this is x to the 0, y to the 0. So it's negative 6, x to the 0, y to the 0. Each of these has a 0. So when you start talking about this one, that has a power of 0. So this uh, polynomial is to the fifth degree, because I'm just going to look for which one is the highest. Okay, I'm not actually adding them together. I'm looking for just one is the, which one is the highest. We're going to take a look at that um, in this next example. So I now have three terms. So talking about just this first one, the two I'm not necessarily concerned about, the m to the third, remember this is the same as n to the first. So when I add those together, that is a total of four. Now I'm looking at the negative five, m to the second, n to the fourth, this has a total power of 6, and then this, the positive 7, is just a 0. So I'm looking for the highest one, which is a 6. So this polynomial is to the 6th degree. So again, I'm looking for just which one has the highest. Again, I'm not necessarily looking at both these examples. It works out this way, but I'm not looking for which one has the highest exponent. So this one has a 4. This one has a 3. Okay, that's not to say what we're, we're looking. We're adding them together. Right, so this is a 3 plus 1, 2 plus 4. This is the m to the 0, n to the 0, so this is a 0. And then up here, uh, same thing, adding. And then remember, those are to 0 we're adding. All right, now let's talk about what happens when I want to put something in standard form. So how am I going to use that knowledge? So the idea when standard form is it should go from the highest power or highest degree to the lowest degree. Okay, and so first thing i got to do is figure out what the degree of each of these is. Okay, and so I got 3x squared, and that is to the second, right, because that's the 2. 4x to the fifth is to the fifth, and negative 7x is to the first. So I'm going to put them in order from highest degree to lowest degree, meaning that this 4x, is, 4x to the fifth is going to be first. Now keep in mind that this sign is tied to the number in front of the variable, as we've talked about in the past. So this is going to be a positive 4x to the fifth. Then this is the second, so plus 3x squared, because the 3 is positive. And then this is negative, so it's minus 7x, right? So it's going 5, 2, 1. 5, 2, 1. So you're putting them in order from greatest power to least power, being careful of the signs. Okay, let's take a look at one... Last example, we're going to kind of have to move some things around. There's a lot of negative signs, and so this is a good example for us to practice some of that. So if I'm looking at this one, and then you got this one, this one, and this one. So you got four terms, right? This first term, 5y, remember that is the same as y to the 1. So this is to the first degree. Negative 9 is to the 0 degree. Negative 2y to the 4th is to... The fourth degree and negative 6y to the third is to the third degree. Now keep in mind, sometimes you may get problems that look more, I'll come back to this slide in a second, you may get problems that look more like this, where you have multiple uh, variables. Don't worry about it, it's the same idea. If I were putting this one, for example, into standard form, this would go first, so it would be negative 5m squared n to the fourth. This would be second, plus 2m to the third n. 
and then plus 7. But remember, this negative should stick, stay with that 5. All right, we're coming back to this problem. So I'm going to do first, second, third, fourth. Right, I'm going in the opposite order, and so this is going to be negative 2y to the fourth, right, because that's this. This is negative 6y to the third. This is a positive 5y, so plus 5y, and then minus 9. So in standard form, it should look something like that. Okay, just be really careful where you're putting the positives and the negatives um, in this scenario. All right, thanks very much for watching the video. That's all we got for you on polynomials. Don't forget to do the problems on the bottom of the page, and I'll see you in class.